Hey everyone, thank you so much for being with us today and joining us and learning how to stop stress from killing you and boosting your immune system naturally yes. against anything. I know a lot of you have so much on your minds and so we are going to give you some amazing, amazing stress reduction, anxiety reducing tips to bring back bliss in your life, reduce fight, flight, and freeze, yes. which are three natural things that happen in your system when you're stressed out. Mm -hmm. Either you want to fight someone, you want to fly and leave the situation, or you actually might freeze. Some of you may not know about that one. Um, and we also want to help you turn up your immune system because as soon as you reduce fight, flight, and freeze, your immune system will automatically go up. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to help you turn on calm and peace relaxation mm. as quickly and as succinctly as possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Rhiannon Hutton. I have a master's in Eastern medicine. I'm an herbal master, Qigong practitioner, and I have a doctorate in chiropractic. I do network spinal non-force energy um, techniques as well. She's amazing. This is my awesome mom, <laughs> Sia the Scientist. She is a microbial ecologist, if I can say that without stuttering, mm -hmm. as well as a neurolinguistic programmer, hypnotist, and she's a Western herbal uh, master as well. Learned from Michael Moore, if any of you know anything about herbs. So she's actually typed um, over 300 medicinal and edible plants right here in the local Southern California mountains where she lives. And um, Wild crafts, huh? so we're all safe with her brain. Um, <laughs> should there be any sort of food medicine shortage problem, mm -hmm. Dr. Mom, see the scientist. Okay. Not a doctor. So today we're, <laughs> today we're sharing two anti anxiety, antiviral herbs that can bring down um, stress and calm and relaxation into your system. I'm going to talk about two acupuncture points that help you to feel super blissful, mm. two comforting and soothing postures, and peaceful breathing techniques. Uh, and we're going to talk about an amazing neurolinguistic programming tool that will actually um, help you to find your safe space no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, except for driving. And then right. we'll have a bonus as well. So stay tuned mm -hmm. to the end. If this is useful mm -hmm. information, please mm -hmm. smash the like button and share it to all your friends because that helps us as well. Okay. Uh, so let's start with some herbs. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do that. Um, let's talk about St. St. John's wort. Okay. St. John's wort. Everybody knows about it. It's an antidepressant, right? Well, it, what we didn't realize was that it's an antiviral as well. So it not only brings down your stress, stress, turns on your immune system, it also fights viruses. I put it in a cream that I put in, uh, I make with ice plant, common ice plant, which we shared last time. And um, I may do a video on that later on how you can make your own creams with it, but it's excellent because it goes right into your system. It boosts your, um, your immunity because it, brings down your fight, flight, or freeze. The only thing is you have to be careful about is that it does use your P450 pathway in your liver. So if you drink a lot of alcohol or you use a lot of Tylenol or you have a lot of prescription um, things Medications, that you use, yeah. be sure to check with your doctor first. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I used just... it actually, and I didn't have to use very much. It, I think I used it one time during um, some like stressful exams in graduate school when I was doing you know dual graduate degrees yeah. and you have me use that yeah, yeah. and it, it was nice yeah. um so awesome next up and just so you know we did order this from star west botanicals there's lots of different places you can get it from um and if you need some actual recommendations because you do take medications then that is something that we do and you can um, find out more at docri.com d-o-c-r-h-i.com and we can actually do you know a consultation for you um, as well as hypnosis and nlp next up we have melissa um, her dad just got this out of our garden, which is really awesome. It smells delightful. It's like lemon. Any citrus smell will relax you. Mm. Lemon balm, also called Melissa, will mm. um, step down your anxiety and your stress level. It's soothing. You can use it before bed. It's amazing. And it's also known as an antiviral. Really, really important. Nice. Use it all day if you want. 
Whoa, I already feel calm just from that one little bite. Wow, that this is so potent. The mm-hmm. one that you use mm-hmm. in your mm-hmm. in your med prescri- in your herbal prescription. Because it's amazing. Yeah, because we wildcraft it. We can actually wildcraft it. This was wildcrafted, brought to my yard in the mountains where it's from, and now grown in my in my garden in the same type of waterfallish type rocky area that we found it in. And for those of you who don't know what wild crafting means, it just means like wild collecting, wild picking, foraging. Um, mm-hmm. And we have an amazing book coming out that mom mm-hmm. and dad, mom wrote, dad and, and her went together to go take all the pictures um, called Forage and Feed Your Family. So um, it's pretty amazing, very timely too. <laughs> so one of the bonus, we're gonna give a bonus herb. Um, this is something that we also taught Rita to use whenever she was in, um, in tech in taking taxes or doing taxes or doing an exam or whatever it's rose geranium and the reason why it is so amazing is because not only does it relax you it does it in an energizing way so if you need to keep your energy level up and your mind clear but you also need to be relaxed this is the herb rose scented geranium and next up, we're going to talk about the two acupressure points. Um, so in Eastern Medicine School, we learn that the golden needle that we pull from the sky is way more powerful than any physical needle you could ever use. And what that means is that we're going to go out away from the body where we measure our electromagnetic field, which actually can go six to eight feet out. And we're going to imagine putting a needle in, twisting it and turning it right above the wrist. So this is where like the seasickness break bracelet is. It's called pericardium six. And this area, you can rub, if you're like one of those people, no, I got a mash in there. Um, you're not really gonna hurt that part of your body. Don't do any of these if you're, if you're pregnant, please just don't do any acupressure points at this point without consulting with someone one-on-one. But you also saw that I had um, mom put the rose geranium essential oils right on the acupressure point. Super great place to put your um, essential oils. The next acupressure point is yin tang. This one is just above and between the eyebrows, and this is super soothing. You wanna make little circles on this one and go in whichever direction feels more soothing. You can also go out from the third eye if you want it to be a more powerful energetic technique like the one with the golden needle, right? Golden needle technique. You can use the size of the temples as well if you'd like to. Ah, so relaxing, my goodness. Next up, we have two comforting and soothing postures that we're gonna talk about. So the first posture, a lot of us know about the power postures where you go like this, right? And then you feel really confident and stuff like that. But what they found is there's another way of soothing yourself with a posture, and that is by taking your hand lightly and cradling your thumb around your C7, which is that sticky outy point in the bottom of your neck just before you get to your shoulders there, or maybe even aligned with your shoulders, and then spreading your fingers so that your baby fingers are touching just above where your neck hits your um, head there in the occipital area. And if you notice as you use it, go ahead and keep your elbows out and up. And you're going to feel like you're being cradled. The reason for that is we were all cradled as babies, either nursing or bottle feeding or even just being cuddled and cooed at. You can use one hand or you can use two hands. Now, you can even do this in the office. You've seen a lot of people in their office doing this with their legs kicked up, feeling really, really good and relaxing. This is an amazing, cuddly, relaxing pose. Now, another way you can use this is to go ahead and slip your hand instead of on the other hand, not linking your hands. Remember, just keep them one on top of the other. Do not link them is to just go ahead and slide your other hand right there at your tailbone, just as if you were cradling yourself like you were a baby. And I know that you don't want to do this one in the office, but it is very, very effective if you cradle the tailbone. Mm -hmm. And Doc Rican tells a little bit more about it. Yeah. So when we do the universal chi cycle in the body, this is a very old technique used by millions and millions of people throughout many thousands of years where you basically breathe energy down the front of your body 
exhale it up the back of the body, up the spine and around the front. And this cycle just continues. So as it's going down the front, it's going up the back. And essentially what this does is it holds the chi in so that it's not escaping from your body. So if you've ever had any sort of trauma, um, then they say that the chi can escape and this holds it in, right? Really beautiful. So not only is it soothing, but it actually will subtly energize you. I'm not talking about like caffeine high, but I'm talking about like a natural soothing, soothing technique. Next up, do you have another breathing one you want to do? No. Okay, I'll go ahead and do one. So next up for breathing, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you place one hand on your heart, one hand on your third eye, and you're going to breathe in through your mouth, and you're going to exhale out through yin tong, through that point we just used, through your nose. And as you do that, notice how your spine kind of wants to string itself like a string of pearls. It just wants to straighten, so your chin tucks slightly, and the curves kind of leave the spine, inhaling in through the heart, through the mouth, exhaling out through the third eye, through the nose. Allow your body to wiggle or move any way that it wants to. See if the heart maybe wants to do like a little oscillation like a figure eight and these are techniques we use in network care beautiful oh that totally relax us and take us into higher levels okay now we're gonna learn from the NLP master um, a technique a tool that we can use anywhere except yes. when we're driving please yes. don't use these when you're driving <laughs> So the technique that I'm going to start you on today is something that you can repeat over and over, and the more you repeat it, the stronger it will get for you. It is the first in a line of ways to clear all of your negative and start to be positive and start to be able to focus your energy towards what you want all the time. And so the first thing that we're going to work on is fear, because it's a big one. And what I'm going to do with Doc Rika, she's going to be my subject today. I'm going to ask her questions. She's going to answer. And I want you to answer for yourself. And even if you get the chance to write it down, that would be great because this is something there that you can use over and over and over. So the first thing I want you to do is find a really comfortable spot and go ahead and move back to where you feel the support on your back and you can feel the floor uh, um, against your feet. And I want you to Take your hands apart and place them either on the cushions or on your thighs. And then as you take a deep breath in, I want you to go ahead and become aware of where the breath is coming from outside of you and where it is touching your nostrils as it enters your body. And then I want you to become aware of your chest starting to rise with each breath. I want you to go ahead and self-regulate your breath any way you need. In being aware of where it's touching your nostrils and where it's coming from and where the chest rises and out, letting the chest fall. And now this time as you become aware of it, entering your nostrils, I want you to become aware of your belly rising to expanding outward good good now what I'd like for you to do is to go ahead and let yourself yawn because when we yawn it's telling our bodies to relax so go ahead and yawn <sighs> And you can let it out. Do it one more time. Let it out with a sigh. And it's relaxing your vagus nerve or your gut brain. So as you start to really relax, as you breathe in and out, I want you to focus on my voice. And this is not a hypnosis session. You do not have to go under a trance. All we're trying to get you to do is relax a little so that you can do a little bit of time traveling. Now I'd like you to travel back into a place, either your imagination 
or when you were a child or maybe a scene in a book or something that you went to when you were younger, not necessarily all the way back to childhood or a spiritual place that you've already gone to and that you really, really love. I want you to go back to a place that you felt really, really peaceful, calm and safe. And Re, when you're ready, I want you to tell me what that place is. Mm, it's uh, like a old temple that's kind of falling apart over an ocean. Mm. So about how old were you when you... Mm, it's from a meditation. So, so it's probably that I did maybe like five years ago. So, okay. So it was five years ago. And I want you to go ahead and see yourself, hear what's going on, embody it now as you walk into that beautiful temple over the ocean. I want you to hear maybe the waves blowing, the wind touching your skin, maybe the sun warming your skin as well. Hearing maybe gulls, you tell me. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So make it your perfect temperature. And as you walk further and further into that temple, become aware of everything around you. What does it smell like? Mm, like the sea air. Like the sea air. And what are you hearing? Seagulls. Seagulls. And wind. And what is your emotions that you feel there? Mm, serene. Serene. Is there anything else? Any other? Like just very light. Light. Joyful. Joyful. Okay. So as you breathe all of that light, joyful sereneness in and you hear those seagulls and you breathe the sea air, what do you see? I see like the small grasses growing on the cliff with little flowers and the ocean cracking against the rocks. Good. Now I want you to take in that serene, calm <sighs> place and breathe it in just a little bit further in, just really relaxing into it. And I want you to ask your subconscious, because your subconscious doesn't mind, if your conscious mind just goes away for a minute and allows you to talk to your subconscious mind. So what color, because our first language is color, so what color is that scene to you? If it had a color, a predominant color, what would it be? Mm, like green? Maybe. Okay. So I want you to breathe in that green with the serene, peaceful, calm, taking in the scene and of the flowers and the little plants and the rocks and the cliffs and the temple, feeling the warm air, the perfect temperature. Maybe even the breeze against your skin, whatever that is. Seeing what you see, hearing what you hear, smelling whatever you smell, the, the sea air, hearing the gulls, breathing in that beautiful green. And now like a spotlight on it, I want you to make that green even brighter, more intense, really feeling it now. Good, good. Now I want you to reach up and take that green just like it was a security blanket and shake it out in front of you with both hands and then wrap it around your whole body. Perfect. Now I want you to go ahead and open your eyes and look down on the ground at the circle on the ground of that brilliant green. And I want you to pick it up like a hula hoop and every time you bring it up through your body, you're bringing it, that green, peaceful serenity up through every inch of your body and all the way up and then down again. All the way down. And each time you do, you just breathe in that green, serene, peaceful feeling. 
as it gets more and more intense, as that spotlight just glows all over you. Now go ahead as fast as you can, do it as many times as you need to, until you really feel that peaceful tranquility. And then when you're ready, I want you to take it and shrink it down to the size of a ring and put it on your left index finger. Mm. Okay. So I want you to go ahead and place both hands in your lap one more time. And I want you to breathe in that sea air one more time. Hearing the gulls, seeing the cliffs of flowers, feeling the warmth on your skin or maybe the breezes. Now feeling that green, I want you to touch your thumb to your left index finger ring on your left hand, just like this. And really breathe in that piece of green feeling of that beautiful place. Hear what you hear, smell what you smell, see what you see, really embody it. Breathing it in, okay, let go of the thumb. Breathing it in one more time. Now I want you to take that ring off your finger, just like this. I want you to expand it out, shake out that security blanket one more time, wrap it around you just like it's that green amazing security blanket, breathing in that wonderful mm -hmm. space. And now I want you to future tense to a time in the future that you know that you would feel less than peaceful. And I want you to see with your security blanket that's green. How it makes you feel, it makes you feel amazingly different, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. So now I want you to one more time, take the security blanket off, shrink it down to the size of a ring and put it on your left index finger. Now, every time you want to feel safe, and you want to feel peace, say for instance you're in the grocery store line or whatever these days, just go ahead and take either take it and touch it with your thumb and breathe in that safe, wonderful space that is yours. It has to be yours. Either that or you can go ahead and slide it off your hand, shake it out like it's a security blanket and throw it over you. Just. Breathing in that wonderful. Oh, that one. I like the blanket. <laughs> me, me too. What I want to say real quick is interesting is as you practice these techniques, um, I've seen my, both myself and my practice members, like when they're doing something else where their body moves automatically, like in Network Spinal or in the exercises that we're posting, the energy exercises, you'll actually automatically start doing this or touching the ring. So it really does stick with you, your subconscious and your, your nervous system, right? It's all wired together inside and outside. Mm -hmm. It's called an anchor. Use it regularly. The more you use it, the better you'll get at it, the more peaceful you'll, you'll feel. So thank you for being with us. And there is one more bonus thing I'd like to offer. And, and um, so here it is, and I did promise it, so. <laughs> Laughter is amazing. It'll build your immune system.